All right, to begin with, the first one we're gonna cover is a laser. And so with the laser, you actually have a lot of different things you can cut and do and make. So you can actually cut wood and acrylic really easy. That's one of the things that cuts really great, super clean cuts. Remember, you're cutting with pretty much like a light beam. So it's thin and it's very precise. And the only difference you're gonna really realize when you're cutting with a laser is you're cutting layers. So if you want to build things like this or, or do any type of um, any signs or anything like that, the laser is awesome, works great, super clean cuts. It's, it's made to do intricate, small, detailed designs because you're cutting with the laser versus when you are cutting with the CNC, you're using metal router bits. And so you're, you're, you're using bits that are cutting through wood versus this is using a light beam. It's a lot more precise. It's a lot more accurate. And so you can do a lot more cleaning things. So I definitely love that with the laser. But the difference is when you're cutting things like this or you wanna make things, you have to remember you're cutting almost in 2D. So if you wanna make anything thick or big or different type of stuff, you're kind of limited in making 2D layered. You just stack on top of each other design. So I thought this would just be a great example. Uh, this is just a, a file I got off on Etsy and you can, you just cut it. It's actually three sheets of wood. Um, and then they're just cut and glued on. And so you can layer and stack to create whatever design you want. And so even with images, this will, you can actually take a picture and laser engrave someone's image, face from a portrait, and it looks awesome and very clean. So when you're cutting wood or acrylic, it works great for that. But the other thing I love about the laser is you can do a lot of other things with it. Also like engrave, especially tumblers. You see a lot of people do with this. This is very simple to do. You do need an extra rotary attachment to do a lot of engraving, but it's definitely easy, definitely fun. Um, and uh, it's just a lot of projects you can do with this. Not only can you use it for your business, but you can also use it making crafts or making anything uh, for family members, friends, whatever you choose. So for images, cutting the laser is awesome. It's very precise and it, it looks, it's very easy to use, very detail oriented with the laser. All right, so with the CNC, you're actually cutting with like metal bits. You're not cutting with the laser like this or a light beam. You're cutting with uh, a piece of bit. So you won't be able to cut out very small intricates. So if I were to cut this out on the CNC, this would be such a pain to do. When you think like, why do some people get a laser versus CNC? There's a lot of stuff on a CNC that you can't do on a laser. And so I'll give you some examples like this. Since you're using different bits, you can actually create different grooves. You can do different cutouts. You can do a lot of stuff that would be difficult for this. Again, you might be able to imitate closely, but you would have to be doing layers. It'd be a lot more material and it wouldn't be as strong because it's just not not cut out the same as through a solid piece of wood. People make bowls, spoons, a lot of stuff like that that's very um, 3D-ish designed versus this because you're using different bits. You can use round over bits, straight bits, 90 bits. There's so many different type of bits you can use that'll give you a bunch of different designs that you could never do on a laser. Like if you see this, there's no way I could ever do this on a laser. It just doesn't work out that way. You can cut super, super fine layers in stack, but it just really wouldn't work out like this and you would see the seam. This is just cut out out of a solid piece laying down flat and then I fold it over. So that's the way this would be cut out because it's cut out with router bits. So if you're still confused, just look up online, you'll see router bits and there's so many different bits you use that can give you so many different designs that you could never do with just a single light beam laser. And since they're both engraving and cutting machines, there's a lot of overlap. So there's certain things you can do with one that you can do with the other, especially signs. You can cut out signs. If you're just cutting out marquees, the CNC would do it, the laser wouldn't do it. It's there. There's a lot of overlapping. There's just certain things that are a lot better done on a CNC, uh, like something like this. I can cut out in tiny, tiny little stacks and try to build something similar on a laser. But with the CNC, I could just put it in there, put the bit, it'll cut it out by itself and I take it out and it's done. You just do a little bit of light sanding and something like this is done. And now what we're gonna get into kind of my personal opinion is the use. So this is kind of the big part of it, everything. So there's a lot of overlapping that you can do, but when it comes to use, the laser is so much simpler. Since it's literally a 2D design, anything you can draw like on a pen type of design, it cuts out just straight like that. Super simple. The software I use, Lightburn, um, it's super simple. You just cut out this, you make the design and you cut it out and it's 
unbelievably simple to learn and use. So if you get a laser that day, within a couple of minutes, you're already making something. It's just easy. And then you can buy files online. Even Etsy has their own files. You can buy anything and you just, you don't even have to make it. Just put it on there and do it. Super simple, not, not hard. So with the laser cutting thing, you're only really cutting, you're only really worrying about two things. Since it's a laser, how powerful your setting, so it's zero to 100, how much of your laser are you actually using power of it? So it could be 20% power, 80% power. So if you're cutting through paper, you can put 25% depending on your laser and it'll cut through it easy. But if you put 25% and then you're trying to cut through like quarter inch wood, most likely it's not gonna cut through it. You're gonna have to raise that laser percentage higher up, 80, something like that, and you can cut it depending on your laser. And then the second thing that you look at is speed. So the, as fast as you want to go. So if you go fast, it's not going to stay long in one spot. So it's not going to be cutting as deep. So if you want to cut something thick, like a thick piece of wood, your power is going to go all the way up and you're going to move your laser slower. So it has more time to penetrate whatever you're cutting through. So that makes sense, right? It's just speed and power. That's all you're really worrying about. You also do want to add air assist. It makes it a lot cleaner and you never want to leave lasers unattended, but you're right there, it does it by yourself. You set it up as long as you're in the same room, keep an eye on it, you're fine. And you just set it up and it just goes. It's just super simple, super easy. I definitely recommend getting a laser. All right, so now let's talk about the CNC. It's not very beginner friendly. I will tell you, I had no experience really even that much with computers, doing the software, none of that stuff when I got a CNC, but a lot of people showed how easy it is to learn. So it is, I don't wanna say it's, it's hard to learn, but it does take your actual time of investing time to learn because the laser is what? Just speed and power really, right? For the, C for the CNC, you actually have three different accesses that you have to worry about, X, Y, and Z. Uh, your speed that you go with, your bit that you choose, the depth you go down, and there's like, five other five other things the speed of your bit when you go down how much you want to be cutting at a time there's a lot of different things that go into it it's not hard but i will say it's something that you do have to put effort in to learn but yes that's really once you figure out i say a solid two or three days of really understanding all the little intricate things with the cnc it works out a lot better and you can do a lot more stuff with wood and cutting that you really can't do with the laser. So there's two different things that uh, it's kind of looking for. And the other thing with the CNC is how are you gonna hold down your products? So with the laser, since it's just cutting down with the light beam to cut it, you can just put a project there, set it up, use a camera and it cuts. With the CNC, you need something to hold whatever you're cutting down, usually wood. Some use clamp systems, some people use brad nails, some use plastic brad nails, some use screws, some use, a blue tape with super glue. So I will tell you, it is kind of a pain to figure out how you're gonna hold down your projects. But once you get whatever style you're going for, you figure out, you kind of get used to it. So for me, I just use screws. I screw down on a template and I just make adjustments on the computer where I know the screws are gonna be versus what I'm cutting. And I usually just do the corners and I just don't reach out. So it's pretty simple for me. It's just to me, it just got a lot easier, especially when I wanna just cut something. I just screw down the corners, make sure I'm not, drilling through the corners, which I haven't. It's pretty simple to understand like, hey, the drill bit doesn't go here when I'm setting it up on the computer. And that's it. So those are the things you really do. There's a lot more you have to keep in mind when you're using a CNC versus a laser. So for me, I definitely recommend a laser for someone if you're not too sure. All right, so hopefully that kind of helps some people. I know they're deciding what you're gonna get, laser CNC or which one. Hopefully that helps out some of it to gives you a better idea of what projects you're leaning towards versus what's gonna do best for you. Uh, especially the learning curve, it, it's, definitely, it's definitely there versus a CNC versus a laser. But um, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. I'm definitely not an expert. I've just had both of these for a while and I've made so many mistakes and learned so much for them. So if I can definitely help you out, I will. And thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.